Oh, big storm. Is that, oh, okay, I was gonna say, is that building upside down? No, it's just constructed kind of weird. See, the, the art style kind of reminds me of Air, Memories of Old, which that was a game I really liked too, and of course it had a burn. Maybe it's the same company, I don't know, it could. Oh, oh, I'm controlling things, okay. So we're this person. Oh dear. Um, do we want to go that way? Do we want to go up here? Everything is scary. Uh, okay, I guess we can't go that way. We'll follow this path. Wow, that the lightning effect is awesome. It just lights everything. Oh jeez. It just lights everything up. And it, the aesthetic is awesome. I mean, it looks like everything is made of steel and it's just ripping all apart. So I like that right off. I mean, I just like the how, how it looks. I don't know if I'm going the right way here or not. They're, uh... Okay, this looks like it must be the right path. What have we got going on here? Oh, run, run, run. What is this? Yeah, and this is very reminiscent of Air 2 as you run through a... That was one of the first things you did. Oh! oh. Ah, cool. Synth soundtrack. But one of the first things you did in Air was you were in this cave and then it suddenly started collapsing and you had to run out of it. So this is... This reminds me of that all. I'll have to look. It might be the same developer. Who knows? I try to pay attention to developers, but it's not always the case. Whoa, what is going on? Everything is just being destroyed. Although I suppose if you have a metal structure being hit by lightning, you know, that's kind of, that would be kind of a thing. Whoa! Oh, the music is awesome. I love it. But yeah, what is this structure? I mean, I guess that's kind of the point. You're supposed to wonder what the heck's going on, but... All right, well, I guess we're going to go... Oh! Hello, person. Hey, let me in. It's scary out here. Don't do that. Ooh. Oh, and then they block the door. Oh no! All right, well I guess then that's that. You just get devoured into the storm. I love the aesthetic of it. I'm sorry, I just say, if it's, it's that low polygon stuff, but I think it looks amazing. All right, well let's see what happens next here. I am intrigued now. Hello, the internet Saffron here. Going into Vane. Now, uh, this is a, a, a relatively new game. It came out on January 15th. And it's this bird that supposedly, according to the description, turns into a people. And I did actually start playing this at one point. However, my progress did not save. So we're going to just kind of hurry through this and see if we can't get back to where I initially was. But yeah, I do like it so far. Uh, the loading time is horrendous. Even like I have the PS4 Pro and it's it takes a shit ton of time to load. But I like the graphics, I like the style. Yeah, but it's a puzzle game, you know, so you're supposed to be figuring out, you know, the different mysteries of whatever this world is. And although I love flying, it never seems to be fast enough. <laughs> so we are gonna go as fast as we can here. Although I do love, cause like you can see like the wind blowing past and the way the camera just moves up to it. All right, so this is our first objective here. We're gonna go to this shiny. We're gonna dive. And the controls are pretty good too. 
They are little, like you have to land and they actually give you kind of an autopilot, but even then you still have to be in the right area. See like that, hold, hold the slow down, brakes, brakes. You're coming in too hot. Okay. And this is our first objective. We're gonna slowly come in and land on it. I think. Oh, okay, there we go, very good. And then we gotta call our friends. And then they all land and tip this thing. And that tells, that's pretty much your indication where you need to go next. So then we will follow the flock. And they fly a lot faster than you do. <laughs> so that's why I said I'm just flapping as hard as I can so that I can kind of keep up here. Because otherwise you do kind of lose your way. And don't get me wrong, you know, this, it's a very pretty world. There's like ruins and stuff everywhere. All this stuff that looks really neat. But uh, if you lose the birds and like I flew around for a while, I was lost. But yes, that big thing in the background is where we need to go eventually. But there's that shiny thing to the left. We're going to get that first. Because that's another one of these, those uh, indicator directional things. Which, you know, it's a whole, whole vein thing. You know, it's a weather vein, you know, and it always has the directions. Which is good because I usually need directions. All right, we're gonna come in. We're gonna slow down. Whoop, whoop. The camera goes a little wonky when you try to break like that. Like it, it can't transition quite fast enough, but it's not bad. And it's so pretty, all the light reflecting off the feathers. It's just super nice. All right, so then this flock is gonna point it that way. Okay, so we have two down. We have to actually do this four times. So I'm going to flap as fast as I can. We're going to ignore this for now. Because I need, like I said, I need four of those indicator things. And the only reason I know this is because, like I said, I actually did it once already. And I got lost. Or I lost my save. So, so then we did those two. So I do believe... The next one is over here, because there should be one in each direction, if I recall. And if you're like, well, you should just remember, no, 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 that's not how it works. <laughs> I have a lousy sense of direction. And you're flying around like this. Maybe it wasn't over here. Oh, it's got to be, though. We're going to flap. Oh, oh, maybe not. The game is saying, no, you can't go this way anymore. Oh, there it is. I was a little off on my directionals. But that's okay. We get it. Oh, no, I was going the right direction. I was just... I passed it. It's way up here. So we'll flap, and then... Breaks! Woohoo! But yeah, you see, and there's like these ruins and stuff here, and it's like, what happened? All right, so now slowly come up to this. Um, slowly, slowly. Excellent. All right, we'll get this one going. And they're going to point it to that big vein again. We're going to see what that does in a little bit here. All right, so then I have three down. Now I have to go north. And the bad thing about this, too, is, like, there is no map or, like, a directional kind of showing where you can go or giving you some kind of compass, which I think would be very helpful. <laughs> Especially in a game where it's like, okay, north, south, east, west. So you just got to kind of wing it. Ah, you bird. I do believe the last item is over here. So we did the other three directions. 
crap, as fast as we can. Yeah, I believe this lake over here should be my last destination. Flapping as hard as we can. Go, little birdie, go. Yep, there it is. Shinies. Birds like the sparklies. All right, and again, brakes. We're gonna see if we can't carefully hone in on this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're good. We did it. I thought I was gonna jet right past it. That's the one thing though, they give you the, the hovering thing, which really shouldn't be for uh, birds like this, but typically hummingbirds are the only bird that can hover, but that's all right. You gotta make some leeway for a game like this. Okay. So let me, whoa, and the sound too is just amazing. I love the sound, I love the music so far. It's just, it's all, it's very nice. It really adds to it. Which, you know, is what music and sound should do, right? Hmm. All right, so flap as fast as we can back to this big vein and then, then things are gonna happen. All right, and then we gotta slowly flap up to this thing. I mean, I, I don't know if it matters where I land, but I'm gonna see if I can't get a landing spot here. There we go. And we call and all of the birds descend upon this great machine thing. It's too many birds! It's too many birds! Those must be really heavy birds <laughs> to collapse a structure like that. I don't care how many there are. Oh! Now we get to see what is that. Okay, where am I? Where? Oh, is that me? Oh, okay. Woo! -hoo! Hold on here. Where are we going? Okay, okay, let's land. I don't know if I'm landing or not. Camera thing. And I love this too, because he hops around just like a real bird. Hop, 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 hop. I just think that's awesome. We're going to investigate this glowing pool of Doritos. Because really, that's what it is. <gasps> oh no, I'm a people with the blue scarf. Oh, what happened to me? Oh, there I am. I just kind of clipped into the environment here. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I was stuck for a moment. I'm like, what happened? It's hard, you know, you're used to flying and stuff and hopping and now you gotta walk on these spindly little legs. We have these arms with the things on the end. Oh, okay, can we speed this up just a little, please? I get it, it's supposed to be disorienting, but it's just a little annoying. But yeah, and then, oh, that doorway just opened up and everything is just kind of coming to life around you. Everything, like the whole environment changes. Which is like, how, why does that happen? Why is that a thing? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're going around this way. We're going to see what this big doorway is. Oh, all these ruins keep forming around me. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I thought for sure it was just going to disappear. All right, we're going to go up these steps. Okay. okay, excellent. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get up that or not, but simple climb did it. 
Okay. Now, let's see what this temple is or structure. I'm thinking more it's like a temple, but I don't know. Yeah, and then like the little, the gold flakes fly off as you walk and... Whoa. Oh, okay. I thought that was something behind me for a second. What is this? Whoa! Oh, geez. Um, hey! Put me in a cage? What the hell? Whoa, look at it. What is this? It's like a big, I don't know, it's some kind of factory. Reminds me of the door factory from Monsters, Inc. Just everything sliding along. I don't know if I'm doing anything or not, if I'm controlling it, it's, it is unclear. With all these ruins and stuff too, it kind of reminds me of Journey also, because you have all these ruins and you have no idea what they are. Whoa. Oh, geez. Uh, well, I guess it's a good thing that was rotten and it just broke, because who the hell knows where it would have taken us. I have I don't know. I, I hope that that last little screen, like the black screen means that it's saved because I have no indication. I don't remember it saying like, okay, this is, this means it's saving. So I don't know. I'm hesitant to just turn it off. And of course I can't just go to whatever destination they want me to. I gotta explore all the spaces. All right, well, that's a dead end. <laughs> Little splashies in the water. And it sounds... I don't know, I hear kind of like a little buzz. It sounds almost like electricity, but I don't know. We got these strange balls everywhere. Oh, I can roll it. Oh, I don't know if that was the right way to roll it. No, don't go that way. Um. Okay, I don't know if you're, if I, oh, I, I can roll several of them. Can I just, I think I was supposed, to... what happened? Why did that one just break? Oh, un unclear. Okay, well, let's... Let's see, this one too. I'm just going to dislodge it. We're going to push it all into water. All of you go into water. This too... I don't know, does that mean the water's corrosive or? I don't know if I'm doing the correct thing or not. <laughs> hmm. We're going to push you this way. I mean, it's clear that I'm supposed to be going up that hill out those arches or whatever, but you know, things, there are things to be rolling. All right. Well, forget it. We're going to leave you for now. Cause I hope the heck we didn't have to roll you up this hill. Cause that's a pain in the ass. And I hear like birdies. I keep hearing birdies. All right, let's see what we got out here. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, 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 <laughs> I, I turned back into a bird. That is scary. <laughs> I thought for sure, I'd, I don't know if you can die in this game, I guess, honestly, but uh, I guess I'm not inclined to find out. Okay, so then, okay, so I'm a bird now. Now what? Looks like there's a thing to fly on up here or land on. Let's see. I think I probably need to call my birdie friends. Oh wait, what's that? There's a light over there. It looks like a torch. What is it? And if it is a torch, how is it staying lit all these years? Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. It's one of these glowy orbs that turn me into a people. And I'm too, I suppose as a bird, I can't actually push it. Hmm, interesting. Interessant. Okay, so let's then, um, yeah. Okay, so here's what a, like a thing to land on here. Let's land on this and I'm gonna call all my birdie friends. Yeah, I already did that. Is that enough birdie friends? <gasps> okay. There's like a white bird in here. Oh, oh, where, where am I going? What's going on? <laughs> where? Oh, geez, that was a trick. I probably would have been able to do that if I was trying. Okay, so where, where did I end up here? I was trying to land, okay, by the white bird here that's stuck in this cage. Uh, camera, I can't quite see if I'm close enough here. Okay, that's a little better. Oh, I overshot it because I couldn't tell where I was in conjunction with... Can I not land there? Okay, I can land here. Yeah, all the birdies seem to be unhappy that this white birdie is in this cage. And I'm going to try to get you out, but I don't know how yet. Can I land on the cage? Oh, 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 camera, please. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like I can land on the cage. So then, let's flap up here. Okay, I gotta, apparently I gotta turn into a people. But uh, I gotta get this stone thing. I don't know how to get it out of them. I am just a little birdie. I can't push it, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get over here unless, hold on, hold on, maybe, can I land on this? No, it does not seem like I can land on that. All right. Yes, guys, I know she's in this cage, or it's in this cage. I shouldn't say she. I don't know that it's a she. All right, well, let's flap back over here because there's a bright light over here, so I'm thinking that's what we have to do next. So um, we're going to flap over here. 
best as we can. And it looks like there's a thing to land on. So we're gonna break and see what this does. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I know I have to call. All right, so. Oh, oh, okay. Where'd that do? Where'd it do? Okay, so it just, like, moved this thing. And then it looks like I have to land here. Bright white light is obvious, which I'm not complaining. You know, with a game like this, you don't know where you're supposed to be or what you're supposed to land on. So uh, the fact that they give you little helpful hints like this is good. Um, apparently not good enough though, because I don't know what to do with that. Okay, why am I just not, okay. Um, well, there's several like glowy spots. Let's go over here. What is this over here? Is this where, I don't think this is where we came from. Is it? All right, what have we got? Oh, yeah, it's one of them pools. Okay, so I turn into a people again. But I gotta figure out, apparently I gotta figure out how to get to that bird as a people so that I can get it out of that cage. Oh, and there's another one over here too. Who is that mean people putting all the birdies in cages? All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna come help. Okay, so I, I can just grab it. That's what I thought. Aha! I did it! I freed the bird! Yeah, so apparently I have to be a people to get that other bird out. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. I think next time. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later. Okay.